Hello everyone, this is me, Islam Shahada, and the double double lecture today will be the epitel stop or the epitel seed or the target or whatever. It's all about choosing the right data burger to obturate the canal without getting extruded out of the canal. And before getting started, I would like to thank Dr. Sudhir for his invitation to ADC INC Academy webinar. And I'm here today because of this invitation. So this lecture will talk about how to choose the right data burger after preparing the canal using the proof taper system. What about Fanta, doctor? Okay. So this lecture will talk about how to choose the right data burger after preparing the canal using the proof taper system and Fanta system. Doctor, what about M3 gold? Okay, okay. So this lecture will talk about how to choose the right data burger after preparing the canal using the proof taper system, Fanta system, and M3 gold. So good, doc. And so. And I race. And iris. What about brew table next, Doc? Okay, 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 okay. Let's start all over. Hello everyone, this is me, Islam Shakata, and we will talk today about how to choose the right data burger after preparing the canal with file table 04. What about table 6, Doc? I hate you. And table 6. Seven. Hello everyone, I'm Ruth, thank you. Seriously guys, after you made a second thought, it doesn't really matter what system file to use, because it's all about the epical forming construction. And you may have a narrow epical construction while you're using a large size file, and vice versa. And you may over instrument the epics, making it wider than it should be. So what it really matters, it's all about choosing the right method of measuring the epical construction after preparing the canal, whichever file system you use. And this method will be the epical stop test using the ham files, preferably the my file ham files due to its unique flexibility. What? Shut up! It's a unique test. We use it right before choosing the data burger to obturate the canal. We use hand files. We prefer the line type files. If we couldn't get the line type files, we can get flex hand files. I always start with file ISO 30. We will grab the file, put it inside the canal to the full working length, connect the electronic apex locator to the file, and start tapping on the file. Actually, we press on the file. And the rule says, if the file is extruded out of the canal, so this apex is larger than this file. So if we use File number 30, this apex will be larger than 30. So if we use ISO 30 data burger to obturate this canal, it will be extruded differently. So we will test the larger file, the very next larger file, the 35 ISO file. Repeat the procedure, put inside the canal to full working length, connect the electronic apex locator, and tap on the file. Sorry, press on the file. Extrude it, try the very next file, the 40. The 45. And here we can see we use the file number 45. And it's extruded also. So we grab the 50, the very next size file. And unfortunately, it's extruded. It's get to the red zone, the apex locator. And here we have two scenarios, two different scenarios. Either the file number 55 is not reaching the apex at all or according to the second scenario it reaches right to the apex and unfortunately the second case is so rare to happen if it happens that means this apex equals 55 so we can use the data breaker number 55 and this will be the right data breaker for this canal and the first scenario is the most common scenario which happens 
when I press on the file, it doesn't reach the apex at all. Which means this apex equals 52 or 53, something between 50 and 55. Why? Because the file number 50, it extruded out of the canal. And file number 55, it didn't reach the apex at all. So it's something between it. So what to do? I don't have a data number 52. I can use the data number 50 and cut off a one millimeter of it. That's how we get the data number 52. So we wrapped up everything about the meter of the data So what about the table? So regarding the table of the Databurka, we only use table for Databurka. We never use table sets nor laser cut Databurka because it's not suitable for obturation of endodont filtrated teeth. It's one hell of fat Databurka. It gives us a fake start back and it makes an interlock with the canal, which makes the procedure of measuring the apical foramen with the Databurka is impossible. So get rid of it, please. Because we all agree that we have a 3D complex system inside the canal, it's not 2D shape. So this narrows the search, makes the suitable techniques for obturation to 3D systems is very few. Either you go with collateral convection or vertical convection. Single cone. No. Single cone is not allowed to use. It gives us a very pretty white line x-ray, but after a few years, we will have to deal with the access to but I love seeing the tone. Get out. Get out of my lecture. Thank you for watching. I will up the next video how to perform a vertical compaction without ice. Thanks. Bye.